Alright, hey guys, so I kind of went out on a limb with this one, and well, okay, let me tell you the story why I decided I was going to play this game on the channel. I freaking was watching some of Super Seducer 3, and I was laughing my ass off. I mean, I was on the floor laughing at some of the stuff he does. This guy does. So I wanted to play it so bad, and freaking uh, Super Seducer 3 isn't available on Steam yet, or any other, like, rep accountable sites to download games from, so I found Super Seducer 2. So, heck, I'm going to play this. I'm going to check this bad boy out. I played through a little of this here the other day, just to see what it's about, I got to tell you, it's pretty good. Ooh, supermodel. That got my interest. Arthur, I'm hungry, man. Let's go to the restaurant. It's my comfort. Arthur, we fucked up the grass again, dude. Not looking good. Who cares about the grass? Gaze into her eyes while Beth. If it's a penis. <laughs> Guys, never do that one. That would never work. Don't approach her at all. Eat your crumpet. This is probably gonna fail miserably. What the pay is the agent being going to do? Hey, listen, I was just sitting there, saw you, and you caught my eye, so hi. I thought I'd come and say hi. How are you doing? Hi, I'm, I'm fine. That's good to hear. Coming for a spot of lunch. Ah, oh, lovely. Mm. This is a nice way to start because if you catch her attention before you actually walk up, uh, she has a chance to wow, kind of get used to the fact really? that you're going to be talking to her. And if you kind of just walk up and she hasn't noticed you, it's a bit of a surprise when you suddenly start talking. So it's a better way when you can do it. Yeah, I think it's also a little bit romantic. So I'm Richard. Hi, I'm Lottie. Ah, uh, Lottie, like Charlotte, yeah? Yes, it is. Ah, lovely yeah. to meet you. 
good to meet you too. Hello, are you ready to order? Say hey babe, the usual. You know, hang on to the menu, thoughts will go back to my place. I have a piece of cake and the lady will be eating my dick. <laughs> yeah, I'll have a slice of um, the cherry cake. And for the lady, uh, she's going to be eating my dick. Yeah. What? Um, are you are you cake? are you for real? You, you don't, absolute pervert. You don't like dicks. I like dicks, but I definitely don't like yeah, your dick. I knew dick. you liked it. I really, Babe, really don't. On. Can you, you just get off? Seen of, it? No, I really don't want to see your dick ever. Not you now, are disgusting. But somewhere. Look at your smirk. You're actually just like a slimy I'm not pervert. A smurf. Can you get off my table? Yeah, yeah. Just go. Why are you screaming? Shoo! There's people. Shoo. There's people. Get away, pervert. These people know Go me, on, sure. go on, off, off. <sighs> this is just horrendous. A bit of an unusual order. Also wrong, yeah? Uh, yes, very oh. wrong. So do you already know what you'd like? I'm going to be naughty today. Okay. I'm going to have a chocolate cheesecake, and a lovely cup of tea, please. Cool, and I will have the cherry cake, and can I have some English breakfast black tea with no milk, and um, a shot of vodka, please. Thanks. A shot of vodka. So the daytime vodka shots. No, not cool. What would you think if I ordered not vodka cool. and was down in it on a date? Pack, always pack on a lunchtime somewhere. tea date. Casual, sunny afternoon. Just not the dumb thing. Sorry. And nor her his phone switches to silent. Call well if we call him, she's gonna get up and leave, so obviously Sorry about that, just someone messaging me. Let me put that on silent. I never do that. I never have my phone on when I'm talking to someone. No, oh, it's understandable. You know what? It's such a lovely day and you're dressed amazingly. It's all summery, but it's got something to it, like a real interesting style you have. Thank Very you. Very nice. It's really nice of you to say. Well, it's true. So, yeah, what do you do? I'd like to know more about Unless Richard. He's wearing something skimpy, but don't compliment that. What? Well, never mind that. Hang on, I just noticed your ring. That's quite interesting. Let me see. Get... Yeah, it's my grandma's. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, do you know something? There's this interesting thing that I heard about right. where they say that whatever finger you wear the ring on says something about your personality. Okay, do so... You hear? Yeah, I do. What, All right. What, 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 what do you think about me? Well, the thumb, if you had the ring on the, that finger, the thumb uh, is all connected to Greek mythology. So the thumb is Poseidon and he was the only god that didn't live in Mount Olympus. So it's about strength and independence. Okay. So that's pretty interesting. Right. The second finger is uh, Zeus. Wow. So obviously god. this is like power, mm -hmm. decisiveness, leader, yeah, all of this stuff. Now, we do your one? Yeah. yeah. The next one is uh, Dionysus. So it's the god of wine and fun and, you know, all oh, of that I stuff. Oh, I like that. I yeah. really like that. I so, am, I am like a goddess that you? of fun. Yeah, I love being so much fun and I love wine. There you go. Yeah. Oh, perfect then. So spot on. The next one, obviously this is uh, like the ring finger when you get married and stuff. So it's Aphrodite, obviously. Oh, so goddess of love, love and mm, yeah, yeah, like all that. of that nice stuff. And then the final one, Aries, war. So you know these guys that have pinky rings and sometimes yeah. they're a little bit yeah, fiery, know, troublesome, fiery. Yes. Yeah. So that's Stubborn, that one. actually. So it's, it worked for you then? Pretty yes. interesting. Yeah, I can definitely relate to that. Yeah, and oh, you asked me my job, right? So mm. yeah, I'm, I'm doing this pharmaceutical thing and yeah. then I also make YouTube videos as well. Really? So a bit of, yeah. What, 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 
YouTube videos. Yeah, you know, just all different kinds of videos, put them on YouTube, try and get views, advertising and all that stuff. Wow, mm -hmm. very interesting. So this is one of those um, routines, and if she Googles it, she could find that it's a pickup routine, which is not good. However, having said that, it's quite interesting. You're talking about her jewelry and uh, doing a little cold read, and it's, it's kind of interesting. It basically... Um, Where you yeah. wear the rings on your fingers. Yeah. Do you wear a ring? None, never. What does that say about me? I don't think I learned that one, actually. <gasps> yeah. On the ball. Ah, you only say it if she has rings. There you go. Okay. Otherwise, you need a different routine. Well, she's going to find out palm because everyone reading. Googles it. Palm reading is what I would do. What if she knows how to palm read? And you're screwed. And you say it wrong. Why can't you just be honest? Yeah, Why can't guys just be honest? Screwed. How hard? Yeah. What's the fun of being honest? And what do you do for work? Oh, well, um, I don't really need to work but I this do way. a spot of acting. Ah, lovely. You yeah. know, something interesting I've noticed, I've met some actors and they're always very interesting people because they're empathetic. And that's, Absolutely. I think it's because when they're acting, they have to portray all these emotions. So uh -huh. they just understand people and emotions. They can read they body do. language. And yeah, and that's what I love. I just love studying people and their nature. Mm. Um, and it's a really good way to connect with people on a really deep level that not necessarily you can do in reality. <laughs> yeah, and actors, they think they're kind of extroverts that wouldn't connect with people, but because of this, you can really You can get feel in it, there. and yeah. you can get the vibe. It's amazing. Excellent. But it's yeah. a very cool job, actually. Yeah, it is. It's, it's nice to dip in and out, hmm. obviously. Hey, do you recognise her in the car? Yes, I do. I think... Who is I she? I think it's that famous Russian model. What's her name? I don't know, but God, yeah. she's beautiful, isn't she? Yeah, not bad. Wow. Oh, yeah, so... This is where we're going to take a twist. We can, need, twist. we can either go to the girl in the car, or we can talk to the girl in the cab. I think we're gonna talk to the girl in the cat. Then we'll do another video where we go and talk to the girl in the car, see what she has to say. Yeah, modeling's all right, but acting's much more interesting, right? Yeah, I. I so much I more varied. So. Mm -hmm. It is as well. I think with modeling, you just have to stare. Yeah. With acting, you have to feel. We have to show certain personality yeah. and be different characters Absolutely. and stuff. Absolutely, yeah. just feel that emotion. Yeah. So you do your acting. Does that mean you're more interested than usual in, I don't know, like TV shows and stuff? Do you watch TV? Well, oh, thank you. Thank you. I, um, I, I like uh, Silicon Valley, actually. That's Is that like your favourite? That's favourite at the moment. It's basically like really intelligent guys that love technology. Are oh, you like intelligent guys? I do. I mm. love t intelligent guys. I think you're quite intelligent. Well, I'm not a programmer, but I've got my own kind of You've got business your own intelligence little ways, and street yeah. smarts. Well, I think, you know, I, I can relate to the, the intelligent side because I'm quite intelligent. Mm -hmm. So I need to end up with someone of my standard. Cool. Um, so, yeah, I just love the way they invent things. Yeah. Um, and I think I'd be quite good at that as well. So, yeah, that's a, a Silicon Valley's way. What about you? Uh, I don't know about light, but right now I'm watching this Handmaid's Tale. Have you heard of that one? Um, I have heard of it, but I, I don't really know what it's about. It's excellent, but it's very dark. It's like this right. alternate future where I have just... Hang on. Right there. Thank you. Um, what was I saying? Yes, yeah, this alternate future where everything's just fucked up. So the birth rate has fallen to close to zero. They just yeah, round up all of the women that can still have babies and they make them mate with like the powerful guys. So it's, uh, I don't know what, dystopian alternate future. Right. Something like that. So it's pretty dark, but it's right, very that's well that's made. And from very dark. an acting point of view, I recommend it. Yeah. But it's not a comedy. No, no, it wouldn't be a comedy. <laughs> I mean, you'd have to be sick in the head, wouldn't you, really, if you think yeah. that's funny? Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
Tell her your last video was dating advice video for men. Spike her drink of a drug to make her more confident. <laughs> Tell her to look under the table. <laughs> Talk about how it is cool to meet people like her that are not boring. Listen, do you like surprises? Oh my god, I love surprises. All right, check this out. I've got something what? for you. Just have a look. Where? Have what a are look you doing? Under the table. I want to show you what, something. You want me to go under the table? No, no. Just have a little look. Um, lift it up and have a look. Don't. Yeah. Peculiar. Yeah. Okay. Surprise! Come on. Surprise! Surprise! Cool, yeah. That's you like disgusting. It? Never disgusting. Do. I need to wash my eyes out with fairy liquid. Oh uh, my goodness. But what's wrong? You don't like dicks? I can't believe you just got your dick out under the table. What, it didn't impress you and surprise you and delight you? It's disgusting. It is so tiny. Come on, <laughs> darling. What are you talking about? It's so... Do you know what? It's hey. so grotesque. It's like this small. I. It's not. It's cold and windy and stuff. I, I, I can't be here. I can't go out with a man with a tiny little dick. Shh. Not me. It's just thinking about someone else. Yeah, OK. Not me. It was a surprise, but... A diabolical surprise. Why did that guy have a gun? Yeah, never do that. Spike her drink with drugs. Make her more confident. Mm -mm -mm, this cake looks lovely. It does. Wait, come... Why don't you try just a little bit before you try yours? Uh, I'm OK. Oh, come get it. No, no, I don't really like coconut, so... You don't like coconut? No. All right. Mmm. Some good stuff. Failed. So, feeding you cake? No. Feed I'm you not some a fruit? baby, thank you. But later, if there's some sexual tension? Oh, yeah, I mean, again, I suppose this is why it's orange. I can't really call it. Might work sometimes, yeah. but risky. R risky. Ooh. Good, yeah? Do you have any special diet restrictions, you know? Well, like, sometimes it's gluten intolerant. But, sometimes um, only. Yeah. Partial like, gluten intolerance, yeah. yeah. It's like sometimes if I eat too much gluten, then uh, my stomach, like, becomes a balloon. Okay. So I have to monitor what I eat. All right. Um, but yeah, I've been on the paleo diet before. Oh, that's healthy, yeah. Because in paleo times, everyone lived a long time, so it's good to exactly. it make sense to do that. And like when you look back, it's literally just vegetables and meat mm -hmm. the whole time, mostly meat. So I'm just constantly eating meat, which is delicious. Oh, so, God, why? Yeah. What are these? Why do I feel like all of these are going to fail? I was reading this article and have you heard of Marcel Proust, the author? No, no, I haven't. He wrote a book, uh, Swan's Way or something, it's a classic, and okay. he was talking about his life and he came up with this questionnaire where he asked a bunch of questions and it was actually really interesting. So for oh, example, wow. the f one of the questions was, what's your idea of perfect happiness? So I was thinking about it and yeah, how would you answer that? Wow, what a question. Not to put you on the spot, but I it should know. be easy, right? It's happiness. Um, my idea of happiness would be on my boat, mm. in the middle of the ocean, oh, wow. surrounding myself with Chanel handbags. Not massive waves crashing down, no? No, like no, no, no. It's just like a peaceful, Maldives? peaceful like ocean. The Maldives would be fabulous. Mm -hmm. I do love. I actually have a house in the Maldives. Ah, oh, lovely. Um, and I, I'm just out there, and I have my Chanel handbags around, 
and because you need them on the boat. Yeah, so and, but the work, there's just one thing lacking. Like I, uh -huh. I would like a man yeah? on the boat with me. Should he be like tanned and sitting in his yeah. bathing suit? Yeah, with his speedos on. With, not with a handbag. <laughs> well, I don't mind. Oh yeah. He, he can have a handbag and then give it to me. <laughs> ah, a present. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, this was a tricky one because we didn't let you know what the question would be, but obviously um, this one's pretty good and can lead to a good conversation. And in general, I would say that if you're going to be going on dates, you should ensure that you have a couple of interesting things to talk about and even having a few interesting questions like this in your back pocket is a good thing to have so that you're not at risk of running out of things to say. No, and it's a great way to open up a conversation where you can maybe veer off onto something else that you both have interest in. So, Richard, mm -hmm. what's your philosophy on life? I guess it's pretty simple, but it's taken me a long time to get there. But for me, it's all about finding the things I really enjoy in life mm -hmm. and doing more of them and finding the things that I don't like. I used to be bothered all the time with phone calls, um, oh, doing okay. annoying stuff, filling in forms and all of that bureaucracy stuff I don't mm -hmm. like. So uh, just to arrange my life so that I'm happy with the way it is every day and just uh, you know, the simple things make me happy. So it's more harmonised yeah. and balanced as well. Yeah, and an absence of bad things is, is yeah. more important than having loads of good stuff. You know, if you just get rid of all the things you don't like, then you're left with... Happiness. Yeah, just... Uh, it's magical. The simple kind of happiness that is like contentment every day, so that you don't have uh, depression or stress, that your mood is kind of... I get that. You know. Yeah, I get that. That's magical. It's just how... And Nora and Carrie on laugh out loud. Take your phone and start filming. Help the granny up. I hope I won't ever be that old. I want to die young with you. Fail, 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 fail. Good. <laughs> World star, come on. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, hey, babe. You need to film it horizontally, darling. No, I'm right darling. up in there. Right <laughs> yeah, it's true and it's better. You little toe rag. Oi! Got your arse though on the way out there. Shoot. Come on, let's go. Yeah, sure it has. Are you okay? Let's get her inside. She needs water. Oh, poor granny. <laughs> Very good. Here's the orchid. We'll get you in and we'll When the granny falls over. That's even worse. Why are they feeding them grapes? This one risky, but you might like it. That's definite. Oh, that's bad, yeah? Oh. You're right. I think she'll be okay. Just uh, dehydrated or something. Probably yeah. some, faint some or some stroke. Yeah, something like that. Don't need to call ambulance or something. Do so he has no. like he, he oh, they can handle it. There's a few of them. Yeah. She'll be okay. That's good. Poor, poor old lady. She'll be fine. She's not really that poor. So is it kind of rude maybe to pay attention to the granny and you know because she might be more embarrassed or no definitely help her your that's what i thought shows consideration yeah and it's, it's actually an opportunity to show your gallantry absolutely and also what if it was your granny how would you want him to act i just think definitely want him to be considerate and it's just the right thing to do mm -hmm. so um 
You need to send me your YouTube link so oh, yeah, I, yeah, can I can do that. DMCA you. You what? You heard about that? No, that's fucked up actually. I had a couple this month. Mm -hmm. Some wanker used a bit of his music. Some wanker? Copyright strike. And I think it's three and then they shut you down, so. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty messed up. Yeah. Wanker. Some wanker. You okay? It happened when I was picking up a baby that was walking out of the road. Lie. Say something serious. Just a t tell her your body is perfectly fucked, but your dick works perfectly. <laughs> so that you're wearing a medical course, and the doctor says you can finally take it off tonight. Got a few problems to be honest. Like um, in my spine, I've got the L5 S1. I've got hernia there, hernias in the neck, and even that middle bit, Jurassic or thoracic, whatever that part of the spine is. And then uh, shoulders, pretty messed up. I can't even open a jar sometimes because <laughs> just the pain from the shoulder ligaments. But knees are not good, so I can't really walk or run very much. But wow. Um, ah, but my dick is perfect. Like, don't worry. Like that's just. That's like super strong, erection, boom, ding, you know, like a rock and uh, uh, loads oh of spunk, very strong spunk, however they measure it, you know, the spunk ratio or something is very good. Uh, with good mobility, you know, the little guy is wiggling around well so they could get to your eggs and fertilize them, whatever they need to do. <laughs> oh man, that is fucking gross. That's disgusting, I ain't fertilizing your eggs. Even though my dick works really well. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying, me? Crude again? Yeah, it's one of those kind of bad back, good dick situations, which is uh, it's just bad crude. Back, crude. Good dick. Uh, it's no biggie, it's just a bit of a twinge, you know, in the back. I think it happened, I did some gym and then I went out feeding the squirrels and I'm like oh. bending forward and stuff and I yeah. was like, oh. No, it's something that, that can happen. Yeah, it'll be all right. And if yeah. not, I'm going to get just uh, get some stem cells and then it's all set. It's amazing. It should be all right. Yeah. That there is definitely your best No one bet. likes a Mona. No, no, guys with physical ailments, you know. Well, ones that whine about it. You don't want to be hanging around with someone who's whining all the time. Mm -hmm. The other bad thing for my back was um, I was sitting for a long time because I had Chinese lessons. I was um, learning Chinese. Really? Yeah, yeah, because it's a hard uh, language. I think it's the dark souls of languages. It's, so I thought it's ridiculously it hard. Yeah. Could you say something? Uh, <laughs> Brilliant. Fabulous. Oh. Yeah. Etc. Yeah. What are you saying? Uh, a bunch of different stuff. I said, have you eaten? I said, oh. uh, something about how you look. And oh. I said, like, I speak Chinese, but not very well. And yeah, a few basic phrases. Commit a crime together. I've got a question for you. Okay. Uh, if you could wake up Anywhere in the world tomorrow, where would it be? Whole world. I'd say Rome. Mm -hmm. um, I've never been there, actually, considering I travel the world <laughs> all the time. Um, and I'd take my chihuahua with me. Chihuahua? Mm -hmm. I've got a little chihuahua, he's called Chucky. All right, so you want to show Chucky the sights and stuff? I yeah? do. Or what, what would he like most, do you think? A Colosseum. Yeah, mm. Colosseum more than like a sausage shop or something yeah well i'd take him to the ice cream shop apparently ah, there's a ice delicious cream. ice cream shop there so i'd take him there yeah have a bit have a bit yeah yeah mm. just share a little ice cream together he'll be in my handbag of course that's sweet well you'd have to send me the pictures i'd like to see chucky yeah. and rome the album mm -hmm. this is a solid question uh, it's one of the kind of example questions that make for good conversation from my first book and there are a bunch like that but yeah, again, like it's uh, travel and it's quite precise. It gets someone to 
fantasized a little bit about a pleasant subject. So I think it's a solid choice. And you should also have your answer ready in case she asks you back. You like big surprises? Um, Check it out. Get yeah. out! Yeah. Proudly proclaim that she <laughs> Give her a bit of a wave. Hide from her. Lottie, check out this girl there. Have you seen her? Have a look. Oh, what do you think? She's, she's beautiful. Yeah, I banged her that one. Right. Okay. Yeah. She's well good in bed as well. Amazing she? chick. Well, yeah. why don't you go and. Yeah, I think I should actually. I might come back, I might not. Uh, I, I actually was being sarcastic. God, what a wanker. I mean, what? What? arrogance is Doggy. not going to get you anywhere. That just means something's up. This is basically bad. Hey, Anastasia. Hey. How you doing? You look so nice. Great dress. No, God, she's coming over. How's your flower shop? How's Anna? Oh God. Um, how, are you still dating that guy? Um, bye, nice to see you. That was bad. What What did she say? She said that you got a small dick and um, you can't sing. <laughs> no, bad move. Um, not going to end well. Not going to end well there. Tell her that you're singing. I don't listen to her. You know, we were dating for a while and she just was a bit of a nut job, so... Yeah. Um, yeah, I thought she was going to be nice, but she's just trying to cause me problems. We dated and everything was good. Sometimes that can happen, though. Yeah. It's, um, sometimes girls can get wild, you know, after. Did you did you end it with her? Yeah, she wanted, well, she, yes, but for the right reasons. So she was, you know, good girl, all of that stuff. But then she became super serious, super jealous, controlling, calling me all the time. Where are you? What are you doing? And she was a bit of a bunny boiler. Okay, didn't give you your space. No, and even worse yeah. than that, yeah, it was like fatal attraction, so it was a bit, yeah. But okay. it seems like she's still on it, because it was quite a while ago, wow. over a year. But... Maybe you should get a restraining order on her or something. Maybe so, yeah. But anyway, the main thing is don't listen to it and just, yeah, Yeah, I'll about try it. maybe on date, another date, we could try. Yeah, sure. In this case, you know, it's really hard to come up with a winning answer and that's probably the best of a bad bunch to dig yourself out of the hole. Yeah, because she couldn't be really anything else. Otherwise, you don't want to look like you're putting her, another woman down, but mm. you're just trying to be honest about the situation. So, are you single? Yeah, I am actually. Currently single. And you? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Um. Do you fancy meeting again? <laughs> Let's definitely meet again real soon. Mm -hmm. In fact, it would be perfect if we could do it like in three days because in four days my Pornhub subscription's up and yeah, wow. I'd have to buy another year and it's like... Damn! Imagine like I renewed it and then I start getting laid and I didn't really use it. It'd be mm -hmm. a waste of money, yeah? <laughs> yeah, it would. Yeah, so maybe Goodbye. in like three days? Come round? Maybe. I might have something little... better actually for you. I doubt it, but... See what you got. What's this? Little love letter. You. <laughs> you could call it that. And what is it? Wow, girls. That's Log my subscription. Is that your login? Yeah. To... 
Oh, thank you. I don't know what to say. That's amazing. It's okay. Do you mind? I'm, I'm going to go now. I have a wank right, right now. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> um, he says if she doesn't have sex, he's going to need to renew his uh, porn subscription. Oh, I mean, this is just disgusting. I don't want to hear this. So let's definitely meet again soon. Mm -hmm. We could, what could we do together? We could go feed squirrels, squirrels together. Yeah. I'd love to feed like the squirrels. squirrels. Yeah, why not? Excellent. Or just go for a drink. Yeah, one or the other. Excellent, great. Nice one, the classic squirrel feeding session is always a winner with, uh, yeah, the ladies for sure. Right? But of course, I find this on every occasion. Every night, squirrel feeding night. Excellent, yeah. I just get the check actually. Thanks. So, what's your plans for the coming week? You busy? Um, well, I have a spa treatment. Hey, on... yeah. Just one? Yeah, well, tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. I have them like once a week. Um, I've got to get my nails redone. Uh, I've got a shopping trip actually with my mother. Oh, that's all so... nice stuff. Nothing. Yeah. Uh... Oh, I've got a Pilates class as well. Excellent. So, so yeah. nothing strenuous or hazardous? Or... Well, the Pilates can be quite strenuous. That's actually. true, actually. Yeah, yeah. could be. So... Oh, should I? Oh, no, 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 of course not. No, stop that. Let, I'll get this. My treat. Thank you. And I'll put in a nice tip for the guy because he wasn't bad. It's always good to tip. Yeah, I always do. Then next time they remember you. They do. <laughs> in my opinion, the man should always pay if it's his invitation. I agree, and I agree on the other hand as well, actually. If a woman has specifically invited something, you know, it's nice to... I think it's nice either or, you know, if, you, if you've invited someone to an event, it's, you know, I, don't, I think it's your place. Definitely, because you can't say, come out to this fancy restaurant with right. me. By the way, you're paying. No, but I don't mind Dutch either. <laughs> Which is splitting it. That's splitting it. Ask her, she has other sloppy friends for different days of the week. <laughs> so we should definitely meet again soon. Why don't I give you my phone and just unlock it? And you can just put your number in there and I'll be in touch. Great, that's the right option. Uh, setting up the second date, all good. Uh, no. No? Um, mm. Why? Uh, uh, it's just like your hair. My hair? Uh, I can cut my hair. Yeah, but I just don't think we have a connection. Um, uh, I just don't think there's like a spark, I think. All right. Yeah, there's... But nice chat at least, yeah? Really nice, like, we'll still be friends. Yeah, it was nice like, to meet you. We can you. still be friends. Okay. Um, sorry. It's all right. All right, you made a few too many errors on this level. So you actually got the worst ending, not even the medium ending, but the absolute worst. So in a way, well done. This is a nice way to start because if you catch her attention before you actually walk up, uh, she has a chance to kind of get used to the fact that you're going to be talking to her and if you kind of just walk up and she hasn't noticed you, it's a bit of a surprise when you suddenly start talking. So it's a better way when you can right, do it. So very good, guys. Yeah, I think it's also a little bit romantic. That was that. We're getting it here for this part. So yeah, we fail miserably to get with that girl. Next episode, we're going to try with the Russian girl. Alrighty, guys. I will catch you in the next one. Enjoy. Come and subscribe. Do Take care of the